everyone and welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to be doing a commentary talking about the best perks as well as the best gear to run if you are a fast paced player in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and you want to get more kills. So guys, I decided to do something a little bit different for this video. Instead of just doing a standard best class setup, I'm going to be talking about the best perks as well as gear to run if you are a very fast paced player in Black Ops 4 and you want to get more kills and you want to stay alive longer. This is also going to be really helpful because Nuketown will be releasing on the 13th of November 2018, which is actually next Tuesday at the time you're recording this video. And if you ever played Nuketown from Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, or in Black Ops 1, you will know it's a very fast paced map, so that's how come you will want to watch this video, then play Nuketown, so that way you can find out the best perks as well as the best gear to play to be a very fast paced player in Black Ops 4. So yeah, now that I got the intro out of the way, let's actually dive right into the commentary. Alright guys, so as you can see on your screen right now, this is the class that I have for this video. Of course, I am going to be using the GKS. However, that's not really too important in this video. Now, jumping right into the gear, I have Stimshot. Now, Stimshot is easily the best piece of gear in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and the piece of gear that you're going to be wanting to run if you're a very fast-paced player in Black Ops 4. First of all, Stimshot heals you a lot faster than just the standard healing mechanics. So that means all you have to do once you are wounded, you can stick yourself with Stimshot and then it's going to be healing you a lot faster than just the standard shot that you would take if you did not have stim shot. Also, the time between stim shots is a lot shorter, so that means you can get shot a couple of times, duck around a corner, heal yourself, then get back into the fight, kill the person, and then heal yourself again. And you don't have to just sit there waiting for your shot to regen, so that way you can heal yourself. If you're running stim shot, that won't happen as well, as you can actually heal yourself with stim shot while shooting, so that means if let's say you're using something like a submachine gun and you're wounded, so you jump around the corner, you heal yourself with stim shot, and you can still shoot the person while you're healing with stim shot. So that's how come you are going to be wanting to run stim shot if you are a very fast paced player in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So moving over to the perks that I have for this video. For my perk 1, I am going to be running scavenger. Now scavenger is really good in Black Ops 4 or any other Call of Duty game because if you aren't running scavenger, you are going to be running out of ammunition quite quickly. So if you're a very fast paced player and you get into a lot of engagements, then you're only really going to be able to go on the bloodthirsty, then you will be running out of ammunition, so you don't want to do that, and that's how come I am going to be running scavenger. Now moving over to my perk 2, I'm going to be running lightweight. Now lightweight is very good for almost every single class in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. You want to stay mobile in Black Ops 4, so that's how come I decide to run lightweight. If you are going to be running a light machine gun or a sniper rifle, it's a pretty good idea to run lightweight just so that way you're not as clunky and you can move around the map a lot quicker in Black Ops 4. Now moving over to my perk 3, I have Ghost. Now Ghost is a really good perk in Black Ops 4 or any other Call of Duty game that's in, and that's just because you want to stay off the radar. If you are a very fast paced player, you don't want to be on the radar, so that's how come you are going to be running Ghost, and you also can couple that with the fact that I am going to be running Lightweight, so that means Lightweight allows you to run around a lot easier and you're a lot more mobile, therefore you're going to be sprinting more often, and that couples in with Ghost because Ghost only acts activates when you're moving. So yeah guys, that's going to be my video talking about the best gear as well as the best perks to run if you're a very fast paced player on Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and how to get more kills while playing Black Ops 4. Now I just want to say that this is only a foundation for a particular class. So that means if you have more creative class slots, you can always have more perks if you want to. However, this is just a baseline that I made for this video that you can build upon. For example, you might want to have scavenger as well as engineer or you might want to be more focused on attachments so you get rid of stim shot, things along those lines. It really just depends on you. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. And if it did, don't forget to drop a like on today's video as well as make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so that way you will not miss a new upload from me. We are on the grind to 2,000 subscribers here on YouTube. So if you guys would like to subscribe, that would really help me out. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.